Hey, Bass Geek here, and today we're going to talk about what I spent my money on at the Watson's Open House. What's up, geeks, man? You know, I love having you here, and I love doing these shows, and I love getting to meet each and every one of you. Man, it is so good, even at a place, and I can tell how much the channel grew last year, just because I feel like I know everybody in my little area, and when I went to Watson's this year, there were so many people that were like, Bass Geek, and that were surprised to see me, and man, that's just cool to know that we're still even growing in my little corner of the world, so thanks to all of you all that come out there to support Watson's number one and to support Bass Geek and all these small companies. You guys know that's that's a big deal to me is these great little companies. Now, all that being said, let's see some baits. All right, so one of the very first companies that I stopped at was Fuji Baits, Fuji Custom Tackle. I got, I got this and I had to pick some up from, uh, you know, from my buddy Josh King, King Bassin. Guys, he's been on the show before. He's uh, He's got a great Instagram. He's pretty big on Instagram, so go check him out. But he was talking about these as far as uh, drop heads go, you know, these bright colors. Uh, these are all half ounce heads, screw lock heads, which I love so much. Good natural color right there, kind of a natural shad. Another natural color, kind of a minnow color. Got that brown back, that sort of white belly. And then, you know, you can never go wrong with good old white. So another good looking color. All of these are half ounce. Now, here's something I want to talk to you about. And I'm going to try not to harp on it too long. I love these. I've got a bunch of them already. And I need a bunch more. Hint, hint, Fuji. Uh, maybe a couple, three packs. <laughs> But what I love about these, these are fin clips. So let's say you're out and you're fishing deep and your fish uh, has, for a better term, the bends, right? His air bladder swells. He's out there deep. You brought him up quick. So you clip these on his two fins, keep him upright. And what that does, put a little bit of G juice or whatever juice you want to put in the term or in the uh, live well to get him to chill out. He'll kind of expel that, that air and right himself and swim off without having to poke holes in him and fizz him. This also does another thing. Now, speaking of which, let's see if I can find them, bear with me. You guys, and I picked up some of these, you, you can't get these online, so you gotta call Watson's. If you want these, you guys have seen my plug knocker video. Well, this is just a different version of that. So this can kind of do two in one sort of duty. You pop off this little clip, you clip that, onto your line, slide it down, pop, 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 you get your bait free. There you have it. These are rubber coated too. Really good job, Fuji. I like that a lot. The details matter, people. But these are great little two for one. And yeah, rubber coated might not matter in getting your bait back, but it does matter when it comes to being softer on those fish. Now, the, so, but again, these things are great. My biggest short last year was talking about this and getting one free. And I did pick up three more of these from Watson's, I always do. But these work too. And it's it's kind of along the line of, you know, my buddy Joey, he uses a, a heavy two, three ounce, I think it is, like catfish weight that's got the little swivel that comes up. Guys talk about their papas using spark plugs. That, that works too, you know. So it's sort of that same sort of thing. Next up, we're gonna stick with some terminal tackle. So we're gonna stick with some terminal tackle. These are from Fuzz Baits, and he just had a great deal. You know, a lot of your local tackle makers on these little half ounce, quarter ounce, you know, little just ball heads, they have a great deal on them. And what I like about these is these I will put on my Alabama rigs. I try to keep the, the cost of that Alabama rig as cheap as I can because what ends up happening is you lose them and you know you put something like the Eclipse head from Angler Tungsten, five of those bad boys on there, and you're gonna cry. You know, I love my Angler Tungsten heads. I use them for a lot of different things, but not an Alabama rig. We're gonna go ahead and go with this. 
So an eighth ounce when I'm able to put five on is my go-to. What else I love about these? Again, shout out to the guys that use the screw locks. I hate the stupid little keepers. I mean, if you're really targeting Z-Man, they're great. But other than that, they're a pain in the... Now, he's really got some cool stuff. You know, we start talking about jigs. And you guys always love it when I find these sort of weedless style jigs. Well, check it out. This is a weedless swinging head football head jig. That's right. So they come with the EWG hooks in them. And so you just Texas rig. And now you've got a little wobble head style football head jig. Tell me that ain't bad. So I picked up a few of these. That's sort of a you know, green pumpkin. This one, kind of a PB and J. This is kind of your Bama crawl here. Black, brown, orange. Good looking head too, you know, like that he paints the head to match. And this one's kind of a watermelon. The hooks are sharp, believe me. Now something that they do that they make that's really interesting is sort of a hair jig slash spinner bait look at that that is really neat you know i picked up a white one and i picked up one that's got a little bit of you know sartreuse in it man i think a grub on the back of these is just going to look amazing this is going to be something that i cannot wait to kind of test out and throw that's really unique to me i don't think that i've seen these and again you know fuzz baits uh, links will be in the description for all of this and of course i had to pick up some of my favorite winter jigs you can either use these on a float and fly or uh top line out in open water and last but not least check that bad boy out it's a hair bladed jig now i don't fish a bladed jig a lot but i had to pick one of these up to try them i mean hands down i was just like okay that intrigues me i want to i want to play with that uh, so that is Fuzz Baits. Again, guys, make sure you go check them out. He makes some really cool stuff and is very local to me, as is pretty much all of these uh, companies. So we're going to stick with the hard baits, and we're going to talk about Razor Baits, one of my favorite, one of my favorite custom painters. And I know he's going to hate me showing this color. But as you can see, this color is real good, and I bought a whole bunch of them. So this little color, I don't know what he calls it, but man, it is incredible. I know the camera is not doing it justice. There's a little bit of like powder, blue, almost a purple, some some sartreuse scales. I mean, you're just not going to do it justice with these these this lighting and these cameras uh you just have to see it in person they're incredible these are the dt 10s couple of dt 8s in the same color and a dt 6 in the same color so uh if you don't know i, I like this color obviously right i also picked up a red eye shad in that color and last but not least well not really last a shad wrap number five same color now these are a little bit different this is a 6xd and this is a dt10 in a slightly different color man i really like it i almost call it an easter egg i don't know what it would be but that is a very unique back on it so really great colors right there i also picked up some little johns this one is extremely nice because that may look like it goes to black, but it is really a deep, dark purple. And you can see kind of a little bit of that red coming through it too. What an incredible color this is. Guys, I'm telling you, he can do <laughs> some impressive work uh, mixing these colors. That is an incredible color right there. And like I said, it, I know it's not showing. It doesn't do do justice to, you know, what these are. But uh, the gold flake in this, and then it just goes to such a deep red on the back from that orange belly. Such a great color there. And then last but not least, the rock crawlers. Picked up two of these. These are two of my favorite colors that he puts out. Just monster colors right here. Great this time of year. Razor baits, man. 
the dude does some incredible stuff. Like I said, there's another razor out there. I think that the bait company, make sure you follow those links in the description so that you're going to, to the right guy because he does some incredible paint jobs. Now, this next one, I know you're gonna be excited about because they are back. They are back. And that is Bass Munitions. So here's one of my favorite things. You guys know I love to drop and to Mickey Rig use those little uh, minnow style baits, especially right now, they're huge. Man, these things are deadly. And what I like about them, they got a little fatter belly. They got a really good shad profile. Uh, this is natural shad. Also, this is kind of my go-to color, stealth in the stealth shad. This is sour grape. Nobody makes this color. This is a sexy shad, rainbow trout, killer looking little rainbow trout right there. So those are some of my favorites in those sort of drop style baits. Now, these it, guys, you'll know if you see me fish during May that I tend to get out and go do some small mouth uh, bed fishing. And the, these little worms are some of my go-to worms. These are specifically called the Holston worm. This is green pumpkin sky. Good looking little worm. Got a little bit of blue, a little bit of green pumpkin in it. This color I haven't ever used before and I think it's gonna be great. It's firecracker. I don't know if you can see that little red tail on it there. This is tequila sunrise. That is, of course, a bad, bad color right there. And you can't go wrong with a little bit of tomato seed. Good looking red. How to get them fired up when they're up our chalet in the beds. Now, last but not least, you guys know I was always a big fan of Richard's swim baits. And this is one I never really talked to you guys a lot about, but it's one of my favorites, especially when you're you know, when you're fishing that single swim bait, like I know you, a lot of you guys like a Kitek, but this is the Maverick. And I mean, look at that tail. Great little minnow style swim bait. Deadly, deadly. And that's natural shad, one of my favorite colors. Just a deadly little bait on a single little ball head. And last but not least, he had some of the naturals in the Patriot Minnow. You guys know that's one of my favorite swim bait body styles. So picked some of those up. But you know, now it's not Richard anymore. He did sell the company, but Richard actually trained the guy to, you know, how to make all these baits, how to make every single color. And I mean, he's doing a terrific job. The baits look and feel incredible. Make sure you go check them out if you were you know, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know Bass Munitions. I've been a fan of Bass Munitions for a very, very long time. Now we come to some baits that I love during the uh, fall, and that is JS2 Custom Baits. So JS2, man, this is a killer worm. This worm straight shellacked them last year for me this color. I think it's called AM Sunrise. It is an incredible little color. Now this is the bigger version and uh, can you tell which one might have worked? <laughs> Got uh, several packs of them. These, these are a little shorter version. I think five inch. This is more like a six or seven. But such a good color and, and if you watch, you know, super soft worm. So you are gonna go through them, but the, the big deal is, gosh, man, we caught so many fish on this from JS2. So, you know, big fan. He does some good stuff. He's got some great swim baits. Speaking of which, he's come out with something that's pretty unique. Gosh, I, I even hate to show this to you guys right now, but I promised him I would. So these little baits right here, I think, you know, are going to be huge players out there fishing around those, you know, using your forward-facing sonar. I know a lot of you guys don't like that. You know, dropping on them. I mean, you look at this, okay, compared to that. Now, that's a three-inch three inch bait. Both of these are three inches. Look at these little swim baits, man. Nice little tail action. It's going to be a nice little tight tail. I mean, that tail is super soft, but look how fat that bait is. Now, he made these 
for the forward facing sonar so they'd have a wide side and you'd get a good return. And so what I love about these is you take these out there and you see a fish that's out there suspended. You drop this fat little morsel in front of them. You know, when all they've been looking at is that, I just think they're going to get destroyed. The one concern with those is going to be putting the right hook in. I think you're going to have to have a, a, a good size hook. You might be able to get away with a three alt, but you may have to go with a four. So that's, that's going to be interesting. And, you know, that's a good little color. That's a rainbow trout color right there. This is another great little color right here. Love the eyes, kind of the bulging out eyes on these things. And this has kind of got a little bit of purple down the side. Love the dot. Good looking color. Now these next two colors, these are the go-tos. I'm going to show you kind of the brighter color first. Like if I was around smallmouth, this is the one I would absolutely pick up. Or if I was around some, some fish that were really in that school of shad, in that ball of bait fish, this is going to be it. I mean, look how it's clear. So it's going to be so natural. But look at that, that purple, that blue, that sartreuse. I mean, just such a good looking natural color. I just think this is going to get eat alive. Translucent, but but bright. Translucent, but bright. Think about that contradiction in words right there. And last but not least, man, you want natural. Look at this little green down the back. You know, just a little bit of hazy belly on it. I mean, that thing is sick. Incredible. I don't, I don't know the exact colors, guys. And like I said, I will put everything in the description below. But I cannot wait to get out and throw some of these. They will be going with me on pre-practice to find out. So, JS2, if they get just munched, I might be hollering at you. Man, you got to send me a whole bunch of this color right here. Because I have no doubts that's going to get eat. You know, of course, I'm going to be throwing these. But we're going to be, we definitely going to be testing with these right here. I just think they're going to get destroyed. That is really it, man. You know, I want to say thanks to Watson's for having me up there. Thanks for Watson's for everything that they've really done for me. I want to say thanks to all of these bait makers who uh, talk to me about their baits, do the interviews, who come up there and support Watson's. And, you know, they're, these are some really single guy sort of, you know, guys that make the baits in their garage uh, type people. So make sure you're supporting them. Hit those links down there in the bottom. Uh, if you can't support them now, come back to the video later and check them out. I don't make anything from them. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Just some good local guys that I like to support and shout out when I get a chance to. And some of the local baits and bait makers that I like to kind of use and not necessarily talk to you all about all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to keep a couple things under the hat. I do have hair, though, just in case anybody ever wonders. I got hair. You like that? I don't know what it looks like right now. Anyway, all that being said, guys, thank you. As always, man, geeks, you stinking rock, man. You rock. I, I appreciate the heck out of y'all. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys ring that bell so you get the notification so you can watch these videos. Number one, 100% uh, watch squad. It is the best way to support the channel. Watch every video and watch every video all the way through. I appreciate you doing that. And as always, you guys rock.